Hi, this is Gloria Capola, licensed massage therapist and continuing education provider. Join me for a guided review of the human physiology in order to help you prepare for your exams. Let's begin in a seated position in a quiet place without interruptions for approximately 20 minutes. Get comfortable and make sure you're warm. Now, just begin to focus on your normal breathing. And while you're doing this, I want you to be aware of oxygenated air and the release of CO2, carbon dioxide. Respiration begins in the nose. The diaphragm is the muscle that aids in respiration. Take one finger and hold one nostril closed. I want you to breathe in, feeling the air coming in. Release, place your finger on the other nostril as you exhale. Keep repeating this alternate breathing back and forth. Do it several times. While you're breathing, also focus on the diaphragm, feeling it fill up with respiration and contract on exhalation. Now breathe a little more rapidly in and out just normally without alternating. And just be aware of how your body, your thoracic cavity, begins to fully expand and release and contract. Now return to regular breathing. Being mindful, as the air goes in your nose and down your trachea, it branches into the bronchi. The respiratory bronchioles are then connected to larger spaces called alveolar ducts. Take a nice deep breath into that and feel the oxygen filling up in these spaces as they begin to fill smaller chambers called alveoli. It is the alveoli that increases the surface area exchanging the gases for CO2 and O2. The air that enters is then separated from the blood. Breathing into your lungs, feel that air coming in. Your two lungs are your primary organs of respiration. Breathing into your diaphragm, that's the muscle attached in your thoracic wall that aids in inspiration and expiration. Feel it filling up and emptying out as you breathe. As you're breathing, I want you to begin to roll your shoulders and feel the upward movement and rotation of the scapula, a flat bone. And now just relax. Place yourself lying down now in the supine position with your hands at your side. And as you're going into this position, begin to feel the muscles of your body bringing you down into a lying position. Continue to breathe slowly, allowing your parasympathetic nervous system to relax your body, mind, and muscles. As you breathe, you begin to notice your body relaxing. Dopamine is beginning to make you feel good, and serotonin is what affects your cycles of relaxation and sleep. Imagine the breath coming in from the top of your head down to your lungs and your heart. Now, imagine that breath coming in from your legs up to your heart. Feel your heart beginning to beat. Feel the pulse. The heart is on the mid-sagittal plane, on the ventral aspect of the body. Notice as oxygen comes in, it oxygenates the blood and releases CO2 during the breathing process. Imagine the deoxygenated blood coming in through the superior or inferior venous cava, entering the right atrium, passing through the tricuspid valve and into the right ventricle. As you continue to breathe, imagine the muscle of your heart is contracting and pushing deoxygenated blood through the pulmonary valve into your lungs. And breathe. Being mindful of the oxygenated blood returning through the four pulmonary veins. The amount of air left in the lungs is the residual volume. The oxygenated blood enters the left atrium and passes through the bicuspid valve into the left ventricle. 
continue to breathe and begin to let go while being mindful of the heart muscle pumping the oxygenated blood through the aortic valve into the aorta and out into your body. And imagine your blood a thick red fluid transporting nutrients and hormones to your cells. Imagine the blood collecting CO2 and other waste products. Hemoglobin is the substance that carries the oxygen and plasma and accounts for about 50% of the volume of blood. A deficiency or malabsorption of vitamin B12 can result in pernicious anemia. Now, being aware of your heartbeat, notice if it is fast, as in tachycardia, or slow, as in brachycardia, or is it functioning normally? Be aware of your electrical system, your pulse, your blood pressure. The systolic is the higher number, which is caused when the ventricles contract, and the diastolic is the low number when we take a blood pressure reading. Relaxing and contracting the baroreceptors in your aorta and carotid artery, this monitors your blood pressure. Notice your pulse for a few moments. Arteriosclerosis of the coronary artery is a form of heart disease that may develop in some people. While being aware of all of this, realize it is your hypothalamus that is linking everything to affect your blood pressure, your body temperature, your fluids and electrolyte balance. Now, let's begin the sense organ of hearing, your ears. Notice the sound waves of my voice and any sounds or other sounds in your house or office or music that may be in the background as it enters your middle ear to your inner ear where the cochlea receives this information. It is our center of hearing. Imagine the fibers ascending to the midbrain and the thalamus where the auditory signals project to your cerebral cortex and terminate in the cochlear nuclei of the medulla oblongata. It is here where you will find the eighth cranial nerve, the vestibular cochlear. Now just listen and observe this process of hearing for a few moments. Now be aware of your sense of smell as your nose takes in the air you breathe. It is also the beginning of your smell receptors. The activation of smell or olfaction begins in the roof of the nasal cavity where you will find your chemoreceptors. Breathe in the oxygen and be aware of the smells around you. The smell center activates your limbic system. Smell is primitive. Continue to breathe, listen and smell. Be aware of your heart, your blood, and your lungs, and allow yourself to relax into your own sensations. Now, grasp your hand gently together and notice that you're touching your integumentary system, your skin, where your sensory receptors are located. They are responsible for receiving the information that regulates pressure, pain, and temperature. The integumentary system is the largest organ of your body, and your hands contain many sensory receptors. Notice the temperature or thermal regulation of your hands. Be aware of the Meissner's corpuscles that allow you to feel. Your Piscinian corpuscles help you feel the pressure of touching or holding a hand. Notice what feelings arise. Your epidermis protects your organs and assists in immunity, preventing bacteria to enter. It also synthesizes vitamin D and excretes salts and sweats. Now, gently release your hands and relax and allow yourself to go deeper in your body beginning to notice the subtle movements of lymph fluid beneath your skin and throughout your system. 
Tiny valves open and close, pushing this viscous fluid through to the nodes, our dumping station. Imagine that as your blood is transporting toxic waste along with distributing nutrients, it pushes the toxins out into the lymph system. This peristaltic movement relies on the muscle contractions, breathing, and the pulling or dragging of the fascia to pressurize and move the lymph fluid. Continue to be aware of your breath as you imagine this process taking place in your body. While this is happening, your central nervous system is working, your brain, and your spinal cord. It is your peripheral nervous system that is helping integrate and process the sensory input and motor commands needed to function. Your brain consists of the cerebrum, cerebellum, diencephalon, and brainstem. Remember, as you breathe, your muscles contract while oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange and toxins move through the blood into the lymph and into your lymph ducts. Your lymph system protects your body against any viral and bacterial invasions and assists in the transporting of lipids and drains interstitial fluid. As the lymph system helps support the immune system functioning to keep your body in homeostasis, your visceral motor neurons, which are a part of your autonomic nervous system, innervate the organs of respiration, digestion, reproduction, cardiovascular, and the renal system. Now, bring your attention to your digestive system. The foods you eat take in nutrients to support your body. Starting at your mouth, mastication begins. Enzymes, amylase, break down carbohydrates. As your food moves down, lipase helps break down the fats, and protease breaks down the proteins. Your stomach continues the breakdown process with gastric juices, mucus, water, and enzymes. This process is called bolus, which creates a substance called chyme. As the chyme passes through the small intestine and large intestine, the liver, gallbladder, and pancreas, imagine this digestive process taking place. The pancreas is the long slender gland behind the stomach that aids in digestion and hormone production. It releases insulin when levels of blood sugar, amino acids, and fatty acids rise. Your liver helps break down any fatty acid and stores the fat you need for energy. Bile is made in the liver and stored in the gallbladder. The liver, the largest internal organ of the body, aids in detoxifying your blood, removing hormones, drugs, and glucose from the blood. Conditions like hepatitis or cirrhosis are diseases of the liver. Honor the functioning of these systems while they work involuntarily every moment along with your nervous system as its guide. The adrenals are secreting adrenaline and norepinephrine. The adrenal cortex secretes cortisol while synthesizing some amino acids into glucose, which raises your blood sugar. Next, let's be aware of your excretory system, your urinary tract, which helps with elimination of waste products produced by the cells of the body. The urinary system balances your electrolytes. It helps regulate your blood pressure and acid pH balance, in addition to conserving water to prevent dehydration. Your kidneys, the pear-shaped organs located at the posterior wall of your abdomen, just above your waistline, contribute in the process and removal of water, sodium, and calcium ions. As the waste products move through your system, they pass through the kidney for the filtration process. A muscular bag-like organ, called the bladder, lies in your pelvis, which acts as a temporary reservoir for your urine. Eventually, the urethra will carry the urine away from the bladder. Let's review. As you breathe, feel the oxygen enter your nasal cavity, which is also your sense organ for smell. Be aware of the smells as you take in O2 into your lungs. Notice your heart beating 
while you realize an exchange of oxygen and a release of carbon dioxide is happening right now simultaneously while you're listening to the sound of my voice and other sounds in the background. And your muscles are contracting and assisting the lymphatic vessels to move the lymph fluid through your body while your digestive system filters out toxins and wastes so that the lymph and urinary system will remove any unwanted materials from your body. Next, become aware of your reproductive organs and the endocrine system. FSH, the follicle stimulating hormone, and LH, the luteinizing hormone, secrete from the pituitary gland to stimulate your reproductive system. Imagine the sperm and the ovum, the organisms responsible for creating life through the process of fertilization. Creating a zygote consisting of 46 chromosomes with the capacity to rapidly multiply when two individuals decide to create the miracle of human life. This is where all life begins. The cells are formed. A new life is breathing, smelling, hearing, and pumping blood through their system, while nerves and muscles are being formed along with lungs. All growing, all breathing. Take a moment to acknowledge that your body functions mostly involuntarily in order to keep you in homeostasis and alive. You are an incredible human machine. Bringing your awareness back to your breath and to the room, begin to become more fully present in this time. Begin to move your feet and your hands taking a deep breath into the diaphragm, expanding your thoracic cavity, and exhaling fully. Slowly and gently returning with a sense of understanding how your system functions and opening your eyes when you are ready with a new sense of your magnificent, incredible human body. If you would like a copy of this recording, you can contact me at massageproce at gmail.com and for $15 plus postage, I will send you this DVD. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it and much success on your massage exams.